All right, I'm going to jump into the uh, the other two sensors other than the coolant temperature sensor that Megasquirt needs, which are the intake air temperature and actually the MAP sensor, which is included inside the Megasquirt case. Uh, but we need to run some vacuum line, which I have here, inside the car and hook it up and it should be good. My Megasquirt unit's due in tomorrow. And I'll start wiring that up. But for now, I'll put in what I have. Uh, the stock Chrysler intake manifold uh, has the intake air temperature sensor right here. This one's really dirty. I don't think the ECU is going to use it, but what we need to do is thread in this pipe threading, it's 3 8 MPT. This vacuum uh, tree or vacuum manifold here has 3 8 MPT. So uh, I'll be putting that in that hole. And that leaves me with no place to put this. That won't fit. Uh, this is the vacuum line for the brake booster, uh, which actually is what I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and plug this hole back up with the stock intake air temperature. Go ahead and hook that back up. I don't know if the ECU uses that or not, uh, but it should be good for now. Maybe one day I'll put a plug in there instead uh, or more vacuum fittings, but this is what I have now. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Uh, it's the brake booster vacuum line. I'm going to do a little bit of fitting work here. I got a T, so I'm going to T this off with a little piece of hose. Convert that over to uh, this is all I can find that would fit the hose. So I've got some heater hose here. Put that in there, which will then convert this over, downsize it back down to 3 8 Put my manifold back in. And that'll run my vacuum back to everything that was hooked up here. Uh, we do need one extra. I've got some splitters, uh, a vacuum pack. I've got some Radio Shack. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Um, and that should about do it. We'll get our vacuum into the map sensor. Uh, got a pigtail here for the intake air temperature. That's going to go back to the mega square. Uh, and that should do it. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. I split off here, uh, goes to the uh, brake booster. I split vacuum off of that and put our original splitter in. Uh, that'll go vacuum to everything else, including the mega square box and my boost gauge and things like that. Got this uh, in GM intake air temperature sensor threads right in uh, where the splitter came out. So that's all good. We'll leave this one as a plug. I'm not sure if we're going to use it on stock ECU or not, actually. Um, now, the uh, vacuum that comes from here is going to go to the Mega Squirt's MAP sensor. That's uh, one of the other sensors that it needs to run the motor, essentially. Just make sure it's on this side of the throttle body uh, so that when the throttle blades close, you still have a vacuum reference uh, of the manifold. Um, I should do it. We'll wrap all that up.